All right, what's going on everyone? Bit Savage here. And as you can see, I'm getting a little deeper into Algorand. A lot of cool things coming. And I'll, so I'll let you introduce yourself and you know, get this ball rolling. Yeah, thanks. Uh, my name's Chase. I am one of the community managers at Algorand. And uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for welcoming, welcoming me to the community. Yeah, sure. Uh, Chase, you and Rochelle have been, you know, pretty instrumental on just showing me how to get started, get into the progress of being, you know, an ambassador for Auburn, which is all volunteer based. Mm -hmm. uh, I I like what the project is doing, you know, the mindset. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Here's something I can show people uh, a, a cool project that that you can start out, see what's being built, and get more involved. Yep, uh, and I think I'm actually coming at it from the same way that you are. Whenever I first heard about Algorand, it was through a mutual friend who had somebody that worked at Algorand and they told me about it and I actually hadn't heard about it. <laughs> so I went and looked up the, the, uh, the info. I was, as you are in this space, kind of like naturally skeptical at first. <laughs> uh, so I went in there with that attitude and then I saw the team behind it and then I, I saw who the founder was, Silvio McCauley, who's basically yeah. the father of modern cryptography. And I was <laughs> like, okay, well then I, I guess I, I should probably look into this further. Um, and I'm glad I did. Um, I'm actually kind of, the, my first few weeks were just kind of spent deep diving into the protocol, learning the network, how it works. And I found it to be pretty elegant, uh, fun to use. It's actually got my kind of um, curiosity as far from a like development technical perspective, uh, juices flowing, uh, <laughs> more like JavaScript and like backend stuff. And just so I can actually use this to its fullest potential. It's really, it's been really cool. Nice, nice. Yeah. And uh, uh, so my video I just released, I kind of talk about if I had the chance to be in like the early Ethereum days, I would imagine it's something like this to where, you know, with Algorand, you get to see kind of the behind the scenes, who's doing what, what's being built and the, the, the intention, why they're doing what they're doing. Uh, and this crypto space is cool to, you know, attach yourself or find a project where the, the, the values and the intentions are to solve current problems. Mm -hmm. um, and Algorand, you know, being able to see what's out there already, is like, okay, we can, we can try to fix this, fix this, and here's, here's this problem, here's this issue. You know, let's, let's have our own, uh, our own stab at it. Yeah, and I think you nailed it. Because um, it's not to say that like Bitcoin and Ethereum and everything else are like poor projects or protocols. <laughs> they're awesome, they're amazing. And the stuff that's been built on them has, changed the world already yeah. and i don't think people realize it yet but um it's just it's just another experiment of let's let's try something that's never been done before and see what happens um and the potential is out there to to do um anything and um like we, we just invite anybody to come and participate um check it out like even if you're just intrigued just check it out see see if you like it see what you don't like about it tell us um that's what i'm after yeah and one thing I want to bring up right now is just just this uh, this space that we're entering into. You know, being if you're not a, a super coder or a super developer, you can just open up a GitHub page, join a community, and just start. Uh, because we're we're entering a space where there will be more robotics, more coding, more artificial intelligence, and just as an individual, it's good to just stay you know, in knowledge with what's going on, you know. I'm, I'm kind of seeing that too, especially coming at it from like I'm a new perspective. Yeah. Uh, and that, it's kind of, as I create more and more content, it'll be definitely more new focused because it's basically I'm inviting people to come learn along with me because I don't, I don't know everything, <laughs> but I'm actually having fun doing this, like learning yeah. it because um, I, you've like development and coding has probably always been cool and fun for people that, I've always done it, but now the fact that you can like program your own money, um, that, that you, that's a whole new ball game. <laughs> yeah, um, just uh, getting even a base level understanding of that you didn't maybe have before, you're, uh, you're gonna be leaps and bounds ahead of like where you're, um, you, you were yesterday. Yeah, so for you, what are some things that you wanna see on Algorand? Are there any apps, steps, or just things you would like to see? 
Um, it's, it's funny you say that. The, <laughs> whenever, so there's a note field in, that you can put into an Algorand transaction. And oh. That I immediately thought of um, Zcash because they have kind of this thing, and Bitcoin does too. It's just not as much information, but Zcash uses it where you can send encrypted messages. And there's actually something called uh, zboard.net. Mm. Uh, and it's a forum um, where uh, people submit notes and their Zcash transactions and it gets posted to this forum. So it's completely private oh, and encrypted. Wow. Um, well, one of our, another ambassador, Ignacio, he actually created um, Algo Chat from, with the Algorand note field. And so there, there is a live Algorand chat that you can hop into if you're running on the testnet. You nice. just go to his repo and uh, download it and then run his uh, simple little program and you can be chatting on the algorithm blockchain. Um, nice. So that's like the first thing that I wanted to see built and I got built. <laughs> as far as, uh, from that, I'm more of like an interoperability kind of guy. So I'm excited to see a bunch of things get built and then hacked together to build something bigger than um, nice. some of its parts. Um, nice. So that's kind of what I would like to see the ecosystem growth um kind of evolve into yeah i agree i uh you know i attend a few different conferences have you know various friends in the crypto space and interoperability chain agnostic is the way to go there's not going to be one chain to rule them all yeah you know, so, so as everyone builds and becomes better so okay how can they start communicating with each other how can we start bringing these blockchains together, I myself just launched an auction house for digital assets. Nice. And I want digital assets from every chain. Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. um, diversify. Diversify. And, and it'll be cool to, to be able to, for people to really realize, say, okay, I can use this as a business model or I can use this to protect my digital assets. You know, I'm starting with artists and a few businesses to show how artists, how they can create digital assets, but you know, either encrypted or make it protected and have, have true value and ownership for you know, your digital assets. Yep. Uh, I get 100% with you there. And it's, I think the cool thing about Algorand is it's so new. So it's like basically an open playing field. Um, and so, even the smallest little experiments on there uh, could turn into to something big. Like you, so you take something like Uniswap on Ethereum. Mm. It's, it was like this super simple um, DAP that with minimal UI, but now it's become like probably the fastest growing Ethereum <laughs> DAP on there um, because it just allows for permissionless trading and I see. just a very elegant uh, system. Nice, nice. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm now telling everyone to do a little bit of research and get an idea to build something. You know, it's like, just, you know, take a little break from investing. Yes, the market's very volatile and yep. you can do what it does, but just try to build something, you know, learn a little bit and get one idea. <laughs> yeah, or in it, it, like the thing about this thing too is, and one, one thing that I'm going to try to cultivate, what made Ethereum so great is the, the, the core group that started yeah. in the core community were so inviting and welcoming to, to noobs entering the space and like extremely patient with uh, their time, <laughs> respectful of other people's time. And so you have any kind of question that you could think of and like there was somebody there to answer you and like kind of help you walk through an issue you're having or uh, help you um, understand why this something is or uh, how something works. Uh, nice. And so this, collaborative environment um, really created this um, flourishing community um, that's that's kind of unstoppable and so that's what I kept I'm kind of taking that uh, spirit and and uh, putting it towards Algorand. Cool uh, one thing I want to ask you is uh, you know by joining Algorand I know we talked a little earlier uh, how how has this impacted your your global community you know how are you talking to people from different time zones? What's that like for you? Uh, me, not so much because I'm actually focused just on kind of North America and then okay. eventually uh, uh, Latin America. 
Okay. Uh, but we de we definitely have a global community. So, uh, uh, I, well, as okay, I say that, uh, I actually, there, we had a, uh, a, a gentleman from Italy who was having issues setting up his node, his testnet node. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so I, I took a conference conference call with him and to kind of walk him through to see if, uh, I could help. Well, it was kind of a comedy of errors uh, because I was on a Mac, he was on a <laughs> Windows. Uh, to install a test node on Windows means that you've got to do run it within a Docker container, which is okay. a basically create a virtual environment I'm, that I know of. I've used a couple times, but I'm not like intimately familiar with. So uh -huh. um, as I'm conference calling him, sharing his screen while controlling his computer with it, <laughs> my American layout keyboard and his Italian layout keyboard, uh, trying to type in commands in the command line, looking up uh, oh, man. Docker, Docker uh, support, um, hitting buttons that were typing different characters. So I don't have to be like, hey, can you type? All right, now you type a backslash for me. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Uh, we eventually got it. So I was, I was pretty proud of that. <laughs> cool, man. That's fun. Um, yeah, I just, I, I like how the blockchain space, the crypto space, you, you can talk to different areas. And I, I feel like it li allows your mind to think in a different way. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then uh, one of Algorand's biggest things is the borderless economy. Um, Cause so you see, I mean, the, the internet, the internet shrunk our world to down to our pockets. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, now we have, um, I mean, and Algorand is only one part of the borderless economy. I mean, that also includes Bitcoin and Ethereum and all the other crypto, but um, that also, that just allows us, that brings us even closer to where we can, we, we can share um, cultural knowledge or like cultural point of views. And, and, and we have all these different viewpoints looking at problems. And um, that's in a way where we're kind of increasing our diversity um, and the mind share of like our global prom yeah. problems and how we, how we tackle them. Um, yeah, I, so it's a, this is like a generational thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's going to be gone long. That's going to be going on long after we're gone. Um, mm. We're just on the, we're taking the first steps. Wow. Yeah. I, um, I got a sense of, you know, cause you see, you got the self checkouts at the markets, you get these robots starting to pop up, um, giving you directions and, GPS and 5G and all that. I feel like the 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 global consciousness, the collective consciousness, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of it's having this paradigm shift into this new era. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're super early, and we have a chance to have a say to build yeah. something. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to lay a foundation to like hopefully do some kind of good in the world, um, but. <laughs> just being in this moment um, and being lucky enough to be like in the space. Um, it's, it's cause it's not easy. The space isn't easy to be in. It's so new oh, and there's man. no rules written. There's, <laughs> I mean, I've gotten wrecked. Who knows how many times? I mean, and, and, and the opposite too. Like, but that's still like, like that's still a stressor. Like, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Cool. So, I will, so any suggestions on what people should, the next te steps they should take? Um, as for, from, an, from Algorand, I, yeah. we, by the time this is released, the test net will be open, I think I can comfortably say. Nice. Uh, so really, even if you're intrigued by Algorand, um, I would say, uh, and technology, uh, Download it. Download uh, the testnet. Run a run a node. Go through the documents. Uh, send a couple transactions. Really, just kind of use it. Um, and at the very minimum, um, all I would ask is is for feedback on like that experience. Um, nice. Uh, like, cause there's there's no pressure for anybody to to contribute. It's permissionless. You can do whatever you yeah. want. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying. I I'm I think it's pretty cool. I, um, cool. I agree. So yes, yeah, so I just say. For everyone out there watching this, take one hour a day and just learn. Uh, you can start with Algorand if you like. And outside of that, thank you so much for sharing your time and your expertise of being yes, in the space. 
I know we'll, we'll be having more updates once we go public, uh, once the mainnet is launched, and we see you know the, f those first few dApps popping up uh, and applications for algorithm. Yeah, man. Cool. Appreciate right. it. Yeah, so enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out, everyone. Make sure you subscribe. Go check out the channels. More coming. Money to people.